Now separate the tissue, you want the back layer which doesn't have any ghost printing on it from the main images. So now you take your stamp and you want to make sure that you use a permanent ink. I'm using VersaFine, however you can use stays on, etc. It needs to be permanent if you're going to use glue and paint, etc. with your stamp tissue afterwards. So I'm paying particular attention to the middle here. Um, you can use this technique with paper if you're having difficulty with a large stamp. Sometimes you get air bubbles at the back of the stamp and that can cause issues. So you can use this technique as well. So I'm making sure that I'm pulling and smoothing the tissue. Um, paying particular attention to the fold lines so that I don't get creases forming. If you do get creases forming, that's okay. You can either cut your tissue or you can use a permanent fine liner marker and just put in the little dots of the where the crease is. So excuse the sore throat at the moment. Um, so I'm putting my hand over to make sure that the tissue doesn't move. But to be honest, I don't think you really need to do that. The tissue kind of clings. So now for the big reveal, this was like totally amazing seeing this. And it's wonderful and perfect. Wow. I love it. The stamp I use is by Magic Graphics, Norseman, and it's designed by Interu. The next section of the video is sped up. Here's some of the designs that I stamped on this napkin. <laughs> 